Right, we are joined by Laura Wolbart, Rubina Chetty, and Selena Solman from the victorious Barmy Army side. Laura, great performance by the team today. How was it out there? Thank you. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun out there today. Um, I think it was a bit close for comfort at the end there, only winning by like seven runs. Um, but overall, good performance uh, with the bat and the ball, and some incredible fielding as well. So, good overall. And you had such a great partnership in the middle with Roberta. What kind of role is she playing in that situation? Because you know, it's not necessarily run scoring, but to have her there with you ticking on and continually changing the strike. Yeah, I think um, we had a really good start. Um, DDOT got us off to a flyer, so we were allowed to kind of just rotate in the middle a bit and run hard. Um, so that was mainly our discussion, is just to try and hit the gaps and get as many singles as we can in that phase um, and to take it to about over 15 and then have a good swing. So, yeah, I'm happy we got through that period. Nice. And Rubina, you're in there, you're in the money winning side. How do you feel right now? Uh, it's obviously it's a great feeling to win a match. So a uh, uh, country like Nepal playing here in a big stage, it's it's very very I mean important thing for the girls watching overside as well. So yeah, uh, it's great feeling to win win. And have you had lots of feedback from everyone back in Nepal watching? Yes, uh, my team is on the camp right now. So everyone is working. Every every of the girls are watching this tournament and they have the goals to aim for right now so because of this fair break and um, we got the opportunity to play in this big stage so our girls have the goals to aim for like what we need to do in the further step as well and selena did you wash your hands with super glue today <laughs> because some of those catches were insane you were just everywhere they couldn't avoid you um it's really good to uh contribute to the winning team so i think uh Laura did a lot of work today, batting, and we just have to do our part to feel so, yeah. I was happy to be catching those balls. Yes. Yeah, and um, you were there at the end as well, so happy with your not out. So how much are you loving being part of this Barmy Army side? I love it. It's, it's great. It's, um, I've learned a lot throughout this uh, few weeks, so I am, I am looking forward to learn more. We still have a few days to go, so yeah, I love being in Premier Army team. And Heather behind the stumps, what was that like? <laughs> yeah, so good. Um, Campbell picked up a bit of a niggle just before, uh, last couple of days. So yeah, Heather stepped in for us and she was actually really good. Um, she said she's kept a bit in club cricket back in the day, um, so, but she looked she looked pretty decent. So. That's what we were all yeah. saying. No one could figure out when we'd last seen yeah. it. So yeah, um, so a big win today. Did you think they might chase that down at half time? Did you think you had enough on the board? Uh, well, they, they got the bonus point at the 10 over mark, so they were really on track there. Um, so we, we knew we needed to, to take a couple of wickets to try and slow them down, um, which we did, some incredible catches. Um, and then they had a, had a bit of a partnership at the end again with Shibnam, um, whacking some balls. So it got a, bit cut, it got a bit tight, but we just got enough runs on the board. Yeah, and we've got a question coming from Mohit Shah um, for Laura. Mm -hmm. How important was Roberta Avery's contribution and that partnership, especially considering what happened after she was dismissed? Yeah, exactly. Um, after her and I went out, I think there was like a five wickets in no time. Um, so I think that partnership was very crucial just to, to keep us in the game and to take it deep. Um, that was our main discussion is just to get us through that middle period and get as much runs as we could um, to set up a bit of a platform for the end. Yeah, and how much are you enjoying that balance between the associate nations and the fully established nations and everything everyone's learning from each other? It's been really amazing. I think um, everyone in this competition has learned something, um, whether they're from an associate nation or a non-associate nation, and it's been incredible to get to know everyone. Um, I think we have a very lovely team and everyone is super nice and we're gelling really well, so it's been incredible to be a part of it. So, eyes on the semi-final now. What's the plan between now and there, if you can make it? Yeah, uh, if we can make it. I think one more win would put us in a really good spot. Um, and I think we have the Warriors up next. So definitely be looking to win it and take some good momentum into the semis. And a final question coming from Moet Shah for Rubina. Sita's celebrations have been quite the rage on social media. Do you have a unique celebration up your sleeve too? Oh, no, <laughs> I don't have. Because Sita is one of the uh, players who always keep the momentum in the team and she's uh, the one who is like vice captain of the team as well. So I don't have that kind of unique celebration, but happy to see that Nepalese girls has been viral on the social media and it's like going crazy. 